All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakhach Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. Woo! Yeah, baby. The beginning of World War Three. Now, you could say it really started, you know, with um the invasion of the Palestinians, you know, into our land fighting those gutter rats. But um, it's really, really going down. You know, the Lord is mustering the host of the battle. NATO is calling up almost 100,000 troops for its biggest drills in almost 40 years. Greg Palcott has the latest from London. <laughs> As the war between Russia and Ukraine rages on, NATO is stepping in to remind Moscow of its military capabilities. The alliance launching what it calls Operation Steadfast Defender 24, its biggest series of joint exercises since the Cold War. The goal, rehearsing how American troops would reinforce European allies in countries bordering Russia if the conflict in Ukraine expands. Steadfast Defender 24 will be a clear demonstration of our unity, our strength, and now, according to the scriptures, y'all will not cleave unto each other. So this is why the beautiful thing about knowing the scriptures is that no matter what they say, the Lord's word abideth. All right. So because of Russia, uh, NATO is saying now we're coming together. We're more closer to fight Russia. Right. But when you go to Daniels 2. Let's get it. I want to get straight to the point. It's it. And whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, iron represents the military might. They shall mingle themselves with the seed of man, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And we also know that America's ally is going to turn on them. So say all the men of your confederacy have brought you even to the border. That's over there in the Middle East. The men that were at peace with you have deceived you. So let's go back. Our determination as Defender 24 will be a clear demonstration of our unity. Ain't no damn unity. And it says the men that were at peace with you have deceived you and prevailed against you. They that have eat your bread. So one that who, you know, depends on you, you know, as the scripture says in Revelation 17 and 12, I want to say um, you have gave your mind and your strength unto the um, to the woman. So the Lord is the one that put it in your mind to basically follow this devil, devil, wherever he go, whatever he do. Now you depend on him. Remember, the earth is giving it to his hands. All right. So you depend on his dollar, you depend on the resources and the Lord have put all these things into his hand. All right. So these nations live deliciously off of you. So they that have eat your bread have laid a wound under you. There is no understanding in him because he ain't consider his later in. Our strength and our determination to protect each other. And the numbers are staggering. Some 90,000 troops will be involved along with 50 ships. 80 fighter jets and 1100 tanks and other combat vehicles they'll be deployed along an eastern front stretch this is not just for some you know display the lord is making his word come to pass like he promised us and it all starts off when you go to ezekiel 38 gog and magog all right putting hooks into his jaws bringing him back to that um ancient soviet spirit the USSR. All right. So it says when, when thou, when the thousand years are expired, Satan should be loosed out of his prison. Talking about when he come back out in the Renaissance. All right. And he should go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth. And haven't Esau, Edom done that. You got people actually believing that he's God out here, that he was never a slave, that he never was in the, um, the original caveman in the mountains living in the caves. You never, you know, some people never would think that, you know, so it says, oh, yeah, and he painted our father, yeah, Edomite, the only begotten son of Edomite, the angels Edomites. All right. And it said, God and may God to gather them. All right. Them is the video that we watch it. All these nations. 
All right, so NATO thinking they coming together to fight Russia, and you're going to end up joining Russia anyway to shoot fire on Babylon. It said to gather them together to battle the number of whom is the sand of the sea. So it's going to be millions upon millions of troops out there and millions upon millions of people going to die. All right. Thousands of miles. NATO is hoping it's enough to deter Russia from targeting a member nation. And officials say drills like these wouldn't have been possible a few years ago. But Moscow's invasion of Ukraine united the alliance against a common adversary. That is a record number of troops that we can bring to bear and have an exercise with. So that, that sounds like war and the Lord is the one that's doing it. It says the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts must the host of the battle must uh, must means to bring together, collect. All right. The Lord is the one that's causing this. And eventually y'all going to make it to the valley of Jehoshaphat. It said for behold, the. In those days, in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, that's the other thing that we need to rejoice about is that when these things come to pass, I ain't talking about the ones who's in the truth. I'm talking about the ones who be window watching the ones who, you know, I do believe, but they got one foot in the world, one foot, you know, in the world. You know what you need to understand that the Lord is bringing to pass these things, which means that our captivity is about to be loosened, man. We about to go back to our home. So bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's in the Arabian desert between the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Don't you see the Lord is the one doing this for our sakes. You touch the apple of his eye. Now he going to have y'all kill each other. All right. Scatter among the nations and part of my land. That's why you got nothing but heathen in our land. You got sprinkling of Israelites in there, but it's a very small number compared to the heathen. You can read that account in second Kings 17. All right. So, um, I think that's the end of the that size. <laughs> Across the alliance, uh, across the ocean, the Russians pushing back strongly, condemning the new exercises and promising a, quote, a pro NATO is calling up almost 100. So, yeah, man, uh, 100,000 troops and, and that ain't small. All right. That's not small at all. I said this video ain't going to be long because it's been a lot of videos, you know, done on World War Three, because you got to understand World War Three is going to usher in everything else. The MOTB, you know, lawlessness, confusion, perplexity, Jacob's trouble. All of this is going to follow. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth and all that therein of the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He delivered them to the slaughter. So this is their end game. This is what's going to happen. All right. And a lot of you women out there, y'all y'all going to lose y'all men in the war. Oh, man. <clears throat> it said, in the wars shall the bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. This is reason why. This is one of the main reasons why, you know, Isaiah 4, 1 is going to come to play. Seven, oh, seven women should take hold of one man saying, you know, take away our reproach. We will eat our own bread. You know what I'm saying? So basically, they're going to realize that, oh, I do need a man. But continue to keep living the way that you live. So say, hear now these things. And understand them, you servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Plagues is going to, plagues is World War Three, Pestilence, famine. All right. Death and destruction. All these things, so while that's going over there in the Middle East, guess what's going to happen over here? Now, remember, the Lord said he had to shorten the days or it be no flesh save. For the elect's sake, he's going to shorten the days, though. All right? So, all these places is going to have death. 
All right. It's going to be a lot of killing. The Lord talks about, you know, stepping over dead bodies and 10 people being left in the city. So it says, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child come forth, they slack not a moment. So all these things, so all the ruckus is going on over there in Europe, in the Middle East, all of this stuff is going to come to Babylon. All right. And it says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So this is going to usher in the rest of the calamities and the sorrows and the mornings, you know. So I just wanted to report on that. And thousand troops for its biggest drills in almost 40 years, right, almost 40 years. All right, so the Lord, he's bringing forth his word. All praises to Yahweh, Bashan, Yahweh, Shai. We almost out of here. Shalom.